Well, the truck is a uh, 2000 Dodge Ram with the Cummins. It's a 2500 three quarter ton truck. So the outside kind of looks like a gypsy wagon and the inside kind of looks like a yacht because he used all kinds of boat building techniques um, because we wanted something waterproof. It's no fun waking up with. And we're, we're thinking it may be in a category of a glamper lander. The uh, work was kind of a combination of uh, uh, perusing the internet and looking from the gypsy wagons to the steampunk. There's uh, a lot of marine that came into it. Uh, there's a past of uh, owning several truck campers uh, uh, and learning from each one of what were the shortcomings and it's uh, the balance of what you get and what you lose and uh, so we're working towards that. And what we wanted was something that met all of our needs without giving us extra. Well, I started building in uh, 2011, I think it was. Uh, about two years ago, we finally got it on the road, not completed storage cabinets and whatnot that still aren't quite done. Uh, so we're refining uh, based on shorter trips and uh, finding out uh, what we need, what we don't need to both minimize and maximize. Minimize the garbage that you don't need and maximize what you do need. The clutch. Yeah, the first <laughs> the first trip to Nova Scotia, we were uh, crossing into Cape Breton and the clutch went. Uh, we had to drive home 900 miles without a clutch. And the funny thing was uh, stopped for customs, stopped for a rest area to sleep, and then it wasn't until we got to town there was one light and one stop sign. Uh, and that's all we stopped. Made it back and uh, then had to switch from uh, camper building to being a mechanic to uh, rebuild the clutch and uh, took care of that. So hopefully the mechanicals are all in good order for more fun.